Star TV 6's Hiring Hoosiers project focuses on some of the employment gaps in our state when it comes to the labor force. When you're a young black boy in a classroom, chances are very slim you'll see someone who looks like you leading that class. Now there's a new effort to change that by recruiting more young black men to consider a career in education. I found that our state has a severe shortage of black male teachers. So then you take both of these, put them together, and your answer is? That's Mr. Taylor, Evan Taylor, at the head of the class. What's 10 to the 7th? Teaching algebra to these 8th graders at Daniel Webster Elementary on Indy's south side. For me, teaching is one of the few spaces where I felt valuable as a black man. In college, it wasn't what he set out to do. I said, I'm going to play basketball for one year. I'm going to either be in the NBA or I'm going to go overseas. But a staffing switch with his coaches and some advice from a professor changed his course from the court to the classroom. And so at that point, my second year, I was like teaching is what I'm going to do. For me, there's not anything better than this. Mr. Taylor is one of just 95 black men teaching in Indianapolis public schools, accounting for roughly 5% of the teaching staff at IPS. Statewide, a 2017 survey showed 93% of Indiana's teachers were white. The issue becomes ratios, black teachers to black students. And that's why one local university is partnering with the United Negro College Fund to recruit more black male teachers to the classroom. Dr. Kenneth Britt is the dean of the Klipsch Educators College at Marion University. If you look at the impact that black males have on students of color, it's dramatic. I mean, you think about the research that's out there that shows the positive student academic gains Having a black male teacher is incredible. So it's the right thing to do for all students. Marion University is collaborating with UNCF to get the word out to encourage boys and college students to consider pursuing degrees in education. There's so few teachers of color in the classroom teaching students of color. If they can see it, they can be it and they can believe it. And that starts with seeing a teacher in the classroom. Marion and UNCF are holding community conversations, raising awareness about the push to diversify faculty at schools across central Indiana. We work with high school guidance counselors, principals, superintendents, teachers. We go into the high schools. We work with um, the cadet teaching programs, and we're really driving interest in the teaching profession. Mr. Taylor is living proof of the impact this can have on young black students. I think one thing it shows them another career opportunity because I didn't have a black male teacher until my first year of college. If they're going through something, Mr. Taylor can understand to an extent what I'm going through because Mr. Taylor has been a black boy at some point. He stresses this point that teaching even shifts something within you. And also I think black men change by being teachers because I've changed from my first year to my fifth year. I think I've become a better, a better man and a better human being through teaching for five years. The next community conversation is scheduled for February 27th at 5.30 p.m. in the WFYI-TV community room on North Meridian Street.